If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Join us. New from all caps comics, Cyberfrog, Unfrog, Gettable Tales on Indiegogo. Two classic comics presented in color for the first time, plus a Blacklight Salamandroid poster. Back it today, links in the description below. Well, hey everyone, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I'm Ethan Van Skyver, 27-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media. Okay, so this is a Bigfoot Bill 2, Finger Poseidon. This is Doug Tenable's sequel to Bigfoot Bill, which was a crowdfunded comic book, uh, raised, um, which was a comic skate project. He, uh, Doug Tenable said he was comic skate to the bone uh, at the time. And uh, we were able to raise him close to, I mean, I think 197000 almost $200,000 uh, on Bigfoot Bill 1. So uh, he's back with a sequel, but he's denounced Comicsgate because Doug Tenaple, uh is a born-again Christian uh, with very strong views about um, gay marriage, okay? And he wants to express those views. He also has views about trans people, and th these are views that he's made public. Uh, he... Uh, he says they're part of his religion, and they've caused him no end of trouble uh, in, in the media. Uh, as somebody who is known for creating children's properties like Earthworm Jim and VeggieTales, uh, he has a lot of light on him. And so when he says things like that, uh, it upsets people. Uh, and it upset Comicsgate in a way, uh, or the other way around, I guess. It actually upset Doug that Comicsgate wouldn't go along with, uh, uh, with his, uh, his agenda uh, Doug said, hey, I thought Comicsgate was going to help me fight, quote-unquote, the Rainbow Brigade. I thought you were a bunch of manly men that were going to help us fight the Rainbow Brigade. And we're like, Doug, we're just here to make sure that, like, you know, people can make money in comics without crawling to social justice warriors. We're not here to, you know, fight any uh, great cause beyond that. Uh, that's that's part of the lie about Comicsgate. Uh, and that started the division between uh, Doug Tenaple and, you know, Comicsgate. Uh, for the most part, he denounced Comicsgate as an SJW movement, uh, and it was uh, it was a nightmare. Now, in the meantime, uh, you know, we went our own way, and he went his way, uh, but he started to associate with a fellow named Sean Gordon Murphy, who is uh, a rather big star, kind of a newbie star. I think he's new on the scene. Uh, he did a book called Batman White Knight that was an enormous success, uh, so much so that DC Comics offered Sean uh, the opportunity to have his own imprint within DC Comics called either the White Knight Universe or the Murphyverse, depending on who you ask. Now, uh, Sean has shown sympathy for Comicsgate and our views and, and some of the voices uh, speaking for Comicsgate. He talks to Zach. I've spoken to him a couple times. I've never met him. I, I, I think I like him, but, you know, like I said, uh, I haven't spent much time uh, talking to him or and I've never actually been in his presence, but... Uh, he seems like a very smart guy. He seems kind of brave. Uh, Sean uh, decided, uh, because Doug kind of reached out to him, they, they share similar uh, views about some things, I guess. Uh, not all things, apparently. Uh, Doug got him to do a cover for Bigfoot Build 2, and we were like, whoa. We were blown out by that. We thought that was amazing. Sean is a fantastic artist. And, uh, you know, look, a, a mainstream DC artist reaching out and doing work for somebody who is or was uh, Comicsgate uh, publicly like that. I mean, that sends a big signal uh, to the mainstream that's, that something is up, okay, that something's up. Uh, now, um, social justice warriors in the mainstream, the entire reason why we exist, the entire reason why Comicsgate is a thing uh, is because of, you know, far leftists who call themselves or used to call themselves SJWs, uh, wormed their way into the comic book industry and demanded that a bunch of changes be made. They said, hey, the comic book industry is sexist, it's racist, we need more, you know, it's homophobic, we need uh, more people of color, we need more women in charge and in the books and all this stuff. Uh, and they began to kill off the characters that people really loved and replace them with these woke, fake, two-dimensional uh, you know, diversity stand-ins for these characters. It was infuriating. And while people complained, while the fans complained, 
uh, they called those fans Nazis on Twitter. They said, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And they disenfranchised thousands and thousands and thousands of very necessary comic book customers. Comic Skate arose and said, we won't do that. We're not going to call you a Nazi. We're not going to be mean to you. We're going to put your needs and your views uh, or, or your, uh, your wants as a customer ahead of our own uh, egos and desires. Uh, and uh, try to sell you good escapist entertainment. Uh, we have been magnificently uh, successful uh, because of that, because we say no politics, nothing divisive, everyone's welcome. We just want to do good business. We want to have good customer service, good customer relations, and make a lot of money, unlike the mainstream, okay? So uh, that is Comicsgate, and Sean uh, completely adheres to that. Uh, he's, uh, he's even said that's one of the things that is going to be required if you are a freelancer who's going to work for uh, the Murphy vor uh, Murphyverse. So anyway, these social justice warriors uh, found out that Sean was talking to and considering working with Doug Tenaple of all people. Uh, again, Doug Tenaple has expressed in the past uh, contempt for uh, the idea of preferred pronouns uh, or... Not even that, like he called a trans person, sir, you know, a trans woman, uh, a, I think it was a video game critic uh, on Twitter, and uh, he's kind of been uh, very anti-gay marriage, he called gay marriage stabbing the bride of Christ in the back, uh, all of these things. These are views that, uh, if you hold them, uh, okay, uh, but if you're a creator for Comicsgate, if you're somebody who is marketing or selling the hot dogs, as we like to say, keep that stuff to yourself because it, it turns customers away. And that's kind of one of the rules. Uh, now, uh, Sean, working for Doug, I, I got to say, I don't know how you can even be partially aware uh, of what's going on in Comicsgate or know anything about Doug Tenable at all and not understand that he holds those views. So I find uh, what comes next kind of, uh, kind of peculiar. Uh, this is Tess Fowler. She's a nasty piece of work. I mean, she is just mean. Uh, she is somebody who gossips. Uh, and issues blind items uh, with the intent to destroy people's lives uh, and destroy their careers. Uh, she's been doing it her entire career in comics. I do not know what is wrong with her. Uh, I sense that she is deeply, deeply mentally ill. Uh, and uh, this is what she had to say about Sean. She said, today in comics, apparently, known Batman writer, that's Sean, who supports bigots in a hate movement. I guess that's us. Uh, even though uh, we are quite the opposite. Uh, we are a customer service movement, and we don't have uh, bigotry or hatred uh, in our hearts at all, except for social justice warriors. We really don't like them. Uh, as well as supports that hate movement's apologist, has a new imprint at DC, and is hiring bigots? LOL. Uh, I told y'all in fucking 2017, dude was the problem, but ooh, he makes Batman comics. Okay. So again, the fact that uh, Doug, uh, not Doug, the fact that Sean Gordon Murphy, quote unquote, makes Batman comics, and by the way, he makes great Batman comics, isn't good enough uh, to somebody like Tess Fowler or the SJWs that she, uh, you know, <laughs> consorts with. Uh, it's not enough. He also has to adhere to their ideology and uh, promote and follow their narrative, okay? So what, you're a good artist? Please, uh, you're a bigot. Uh, that is the uh, that is the whole thing. So the, there's no room in comics for anyone who disagrees uh, with these weird, weird people. I mean, there's just no room for them, no matter how talented they are. Okay, uh, they're going to call you a bigot. They're going to say that you're part of a hate movement, uh, and that is how they're going to attempt to destroy you. Now, Tess, kick this off, I believe. Uh, and here we go. Um, uh, when Sean put out his list of things, items that he wanted uh, creators for his Murphyverse to adhere to, uh, one of them was put customers and readers first. Okay, that's one of the rules of, of working with him. Uh, this person translates that through mental illness goggles uh, as means white, cis, able, male, straight men almost every time, right? Right, that's right. For some reason, that's, uh, I guess, what that means. And Tess Fowler says... Yeah, he just so happens to always use Comicsgate and CG talking points for years. But it's just a coincidence. Sure, lol. Uh, you, uh, weirdo. Uh, and by the way, it's a very flattering painting of you. Too flattering. Uh, you, weirdo, constantly use social justice warrior talking points. 
lull far leftist creepy social justice warrior cancel culture talking points imagine that uh you know what people who use comic skate talking points do so because it's good for business it just makes good sense it's why we sell so many comic books and that's why we make so much money uh somebody like sean gordon murphy uh who will succeed gloriously where you have failed uh is going to do so because he follows and aligns with those principles uh, while you spend your life uh, telling guys who mistakenly, like, what the hell? Some, a writer, uh, Brian Wood, asked you out at, the, at a bar, like, you know, uh, wanted to have sex with you, and you spent, like, just a writer, not, not anyone in power, and you spent all of uh, that year sliming him, smearing him, trying to destroy his life to the comic, uh, comic book media. And that's what it's become. I mean, that you know, that's when we let people like this in and and just let them operate without saying, "Hey, don't do stuff like that." Uh, when we when we uh, sympathize uh, with this kind of behavior, this is what it grows out to be. Uh, it, it becomes this person saying that Sean Gordon, Gordon Murphy, who is a supernova of talent compared to this person, who is going to make DC Comics a ton of money if allowed to operate. Uh, as a creative person, uh, this guy has to answer to this little this little troll here, uh, and that's the position that uh, you know we've we've elevated uh, these these goblins <laughs> to. All right, so uh, I've been there. I know what this is like. Sean probably received an avalanche of absolutely mentally ill hate mail from this person and all of her cohorts, all of her weirdos. Uh, all of her bronies, uh, er, the entire Rainbow Coalition, as Doug Tenaple, uh calls them, probably swooped in uh, and made this guy's life a living hell and demanded that he bend the knee. Okay, just bend the knee uh, to Tess Fowler. And here's where we are now. Uh, they got their way. Uh, Sean Gordon Murphy uh, this morning issues a three-tweet apology uh, to the social justice warriors who hounded and harassed him uh, he uh, he now kneels before them. He says, I recently did a cover for a creator, but it's been brought to my attention that the creator has posted opinions that are anti-LGBTQ. How the hell did you not know that about Doug? Um, if you were looking uh, at Comicsgate even peripherally, uh, you should have known that Doug Tenable had those views, and it was a big problem. Uh, you, you, you could have asked yourself, why isn't Doug Tenable associated with Comicsgate anymore? And that would have quickly... Uh, those blanks would have been filled in for you. He would have told you, somebody else would have told you. Uh, so I find this to be really, really weird. Uh, I'm, I've spoken with that creator and the cover will now be pulled from the project. Very sad. Uh, that beautiful Bigfoot Build 2 cover is not going to be on the book now uh, because uh, it hurts gay people. All right? It hurts, it hurts the LGBTQ community uh, to have Sean draw uh, a big... Bigfoot wearing a, a squid on a motorcycle. Ouch, says the LGBTQ uh, community. Ow! And uh, Sean doesn't want to hurt them. Uh, anyone who knows me knows I'm a big supporter of the LGBTQ community. I didn't know that. In what way? Uh, from the hard workers at my publisher to my fellow creators uh, to the people in my own family. I'm sorry if I hurt or upset anyone. Uh, I've always wanted to, my work to be about inclusion. Uh, I do too, uh, in the sense that inclusion means every one of you needs to buy Cyberfrog. It's for everyone. Doesn't it's not for anyone, or it's it's not for anyone exclusively. It's for everyone. Uh, everyone needs to buy Cyberfrog. I made it for you. It doesn't mean the SJW way of looking at inclusion, which is Burger King's uh, Burger King Kids Club, where you self consciously represent every single type of person on every single panel of every page. So that people looking at your book can go, oh, look, that's me. I'm looking at myself there. I'm being represented in this comic. Uh, I put a mirror on the back of Cyberfrog. If you want to see yourself in my comic, flip it over. There you are. Shut the F up. Uh, all right. Uh, and about people working together. It's a major theme in my Batman work, but I can't be connected to opinions that hurt the LGBTQ community. Ow! Let me explain something. Uh, Doug's views don't hurt anyone but Doug. Doug's views hurt Doug. Uh, Doug's views do not hurt the LGBTQ community. They're being used to hurt you. Uh, they're being used by SJWs who are pretending to represent the gay community to hurt you. 
and they don't represent the gay community. They, each individual represents themselves, and you've got to be prepared to ask yourself, uh, do I want to do what I want to do and associate with whoever I want to associate with, or do I want to kneel to this pressure? Now, on the other hand, uh, Sean is, has no doubt, and I'm going to take an educated guess here. I'm going to say uh, that social justice warriors did to Sean what they did to me and reached out to Warner Brothers and DC Comics at the highest levels. Uh, and they came down, Jim Lee, who just did a speech at C2E2, uh, announcing that as the new publisher, he will focus on diversity and inclusion. Uh, I'm going to say that Jim Lee probably had a talk with Sean uh, Gordon Murphy and asked him why he's associating with known bigot, known bigot, uh, Doug Tenaple. And he made Sean feel worried about his imprint and his future at DC. I'm going to say that that combined with the onslaught of hate mail uh, that I think that he's uh, received in the past few days uh, made Sean curl up and do this. Okay? Cancel culture. It's called cancel culture, everyone. He can't be connected to opinions that hurt the, the gay community that's meant so much to my life and my upbringing. It's meant so much to my life and my upbringing. Oh my goodness. And you're going to watch this just go ding, 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 ding. You're going to watch the hearts ding, ding, ding. Oh, look, 607. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Sean. Thank you uh, for punching Doug Tenaple in the face for us. Uh, you were his friend, and we got you to turn your back on Doug Tenaple. Thank you so much, Sean. Uh, thank you for that. Now, here's the thing uh, solution to this has been. Like I've said from the start, do not engage these people on their own terms. Uh, Doug's big thing is he wants to fight. He wants to fight the Rainbow Coalition. Uh, I uh, also want to beat these people, but I'm not going to beat them this way. I recognize uh, that they have so much power when you fight them on their own turf like this. Uh, they're able to make this happen. Uh, therefore, uh, what I tell comic skaters uh, that they should do. Uh, is simply ignore them. If you hold these views, keep them to yourselves, okay? Hold them to yourselves and simply make good comics and preach that they're for everyone. That's all you need to do. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about religion. We don't talk about those things. Why? Because they make people who have money in their wallets close their wallets and walk away. That's why. Uh, some people that you'll never be able to reach, and okay, that's fine. But you will always uh, be able to sell a comic book by simply offering a good comic book. You will always be able... We are Remember, we're the hot dog salesmen. We're selling hot dogs to everyone. We don't care who you are. We don't care what you do. We don't care what you look like. Please buy our comics slash hot dogs. That is Comics Gate to a T. Uh, I uh, tried to explain this to Doug. I've tried to explain this to other people. Uh, who are creators. And again, let me just uh, re-emphasize, if you're a fan, a customer, you're the one with the wallet, you can say, do, believe, whatever, behave any way that you want. You're the customer. Uh, that's that's your privilege. But as a creator, somebody who is trying to sell those hot dogs, it's in your interest to keep it to yourself and just sell the hot dogs. I don't want to know what you believe. I just want to know what you think Batman is up to. I just want to know what Earthworm Jim is doing. I just want to know what Cyberfrog's doing. That's it. That is Comicsgate. And the way to beat them is to still be making money and selling comic books in great big volumes while they are broke and lying at your feet. That is what it is. It's all about standing while they fall. And we're on the way up while they're on the way down. And they're panicky and they're lashing out. Be cool. Stay frosty. <laughs> stay Comicsgate. Uh, and get through this. Now, having said all of this, uh, I do not like Doug Tenaple. I think Doug Tenaple is a, a terrible person. Uh, I really don't like him. I, I think he's disingenuous, uh, and I think that he is uh, he hurts the people around him. Uh, he embarrasses and hurts and degrades the people around him. Uh, we've seen him do it with his, his ego, his arrogance. Uh, having said that, though, okay, um, this is cancel culture. These people are monsters. Social justice warriors are animals. They are absolutely the worst people on the face of the earth. And I hated to see this happen to Sean. Um, and uh, I hope he actually gets something. I hope it, I hope it changes, changes Sean in a good way, uh, in a positive way. I understand he's trying to keep his position at DC Comics. I completely get that. But Sean, uh, you're going to see eventually 
Uh, the water's nice and warm over here, uh, and not just because we peed in the pool. Uh, that's, you know, that's just... Uh, in any case, thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys think of all this uh, in the comments below. I'm sure you definitely have opinions, and I'm going to hear them. People agree, disagree with me. Uh, but uh, that's, again, that's what, uh, that's what this is all about. You guys uh, get to speak your minds. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. And uh, let's, let's keep going, man. Comicsgate now, Comicsgate forever. Take care, everyone. Hello, potential Indiegogo backers. This is Ethan Van Skyver, And let me tell you about Cyberfrog 2, Wrecked Planet. In this follow-up to Blood Honey, Cyberfrog wakes up in the year 2018 to find the world has been devastated by vicious alien wasps called the Vespas. What remains of humanity has fled into the woods for survival. Disconnected from his brother Salamandroid and his mother's ship, Chel Sin, for Cyberfrog fighting back will mean the worst loss of all. Now is your chance to sign up to be notified by email when this campaign launches in March. You'll receive an exclusive Vespas trading card with your backing when you do. No one else will get one, just you. And remember everyone, stay calm, stay in the trees, stay near the smoke, and always wear red. See you in March. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver. P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone.